Jetfish is heading from Arizona to Washington to replace Kalen DeBoer. So what are the Huskies getting in Jetfish? The guy who has really turned around the Arizona program in a pretty short time because what he took over is one of the worst roster situations you will ever see in college football. Went 111 that first year. Again, there wasn't much in the cupboard. But starting in 2022, you saw the climb. Five and seven that second year. 10-3 in 2023 with a team that was built primarily around that 2022 high school recruiting class. That 2022 class was headlined by a receiver, Tetsuro McMillan, one of the highest rated recruits that Arizona had ever signed. His high school quarterback at Servite in Anaheim, Noah Fafita, who wound up taking over the job from Jaden Delora in 2023 and was the guy as the Arizona Wildcats went on that nice run at the end of the season. So... Will some of these guys follow Jed Fish to Seattle? I think there's a chance of that. Uh, he's proven in his time at Arizona, he's a very good recruiter of the West Coast, that he can recruit in Southern California. So that is part of it. But there's also another piece of his experience. He's Before he got the head coaching job at Arizona, he had one of the more interesting resumes in football. So here's a guy who started out, well, we'll, we'll take you all the way back to when Jed Fish was a student at the University of Florida. So his roommate... In college was a guy named Howie Roseman. If that name sounds familiar to you, it's because Howie is now the GM of the Philadelphia Eagles. So you had these two guys that wanted to get into football. Jed Fish did, didn't play football at Florida, but he would leave post-it notes on Steve Spurrier's car saying, hey, I would do, will do anything. I'll work in the organization however I can. And this is in the 90s. There's not a bunch of analysts. You know That doesn't exist at this point. So he's basically offering to work for free and do whatever they want him to do. That's how he got in the door. But that led to a career that sent him across all parts of the NFL, all parts of college football, eight different NFL franchises. He's been the offensive coordinator of the Jags. He's been the quarterback's coach of the Seahawks. He's been the quarterback's coach at Michigan. He's been the offensive coordinator at Miami in the college ranks. So he's done a little bit of everything, and he's worked with everybody. He's worked with Bill Belichick. He's worked with Sean McVay. He's worked with Jim Harbaugh. And so it's a really interesting resume that brings him to Seattle. And this is a guy who I think when he got hired, hired at Arizona, there weren't a lot of people who were thinking about Jed Fish as a potential head coach. But everything he did from the moment he got to Arizona showed you this is a guy who had a plan, who knew exactly how to execute that plan and understood how to operate in this era of college football. And I think that's important. I think that's one of the harder things to do because in the portal era, you can lose a team just like that. And look, since Kalen DeBoer's left Washington, you've seen names just pouring into the transfer portal. There's a chance with Jed Fish that Arizona has names pouring in the transfer portal too, and a lot of them probably end up at Washington. We'll find out. But this is a guy who a few years ago, I don't know that you would have seen him on a lot of potential head coach candidate lists. But once he showed what he could do, he was a guy that everybody was interested in. And now he's headed to Seattle to take over the Huskies. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.